Good day, my name is Shoal and I work for Micrographics. We can be found on the web at www.mgfx.co.za. Right, so the purpose of this video is to show you how to export uh, geometry from AutoCAD to Excel. Uh, in particular, we're going to do an example where you count how many blocks there are in this drawing and then export that into Excel. Right, uh, we're going to just focus on the northern side of this uh, floor plan. You'll see there is a, a toilet block reference or toilet block there and in this bathroom. Right, so there's two toilets over here. Right, um, if we look at the other part, there's no, no other uh, toilets and bathrooms. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now want to count how many items and then export into Excel. Right, so I go to the block or the uh, table tool and uh, I'm going to use the the data exporter or data extraction tool. I'm going to go next and uh, up front is going to ask me to create and rec a recording of my actions. Right, so I'm going to say next. I'm going to put it in, uh, in a specific directory. I'll call this WC uh, export. Right and uh, it looks at a specific drawing. The current drawing is fine. I'll go next. Right, these are all the uh, blocks and text and polylines and uh, all the geometry in this drawing. I uh, right click and I say don't look at either any one of them except the uh, WC or the block that I am interested in. Right, I'll go next. Right, these are the properties that uh, open up once I selected that block and I'm going to just take one uh, property with. I'm going to go next. Right, so there's the uh, um, how many items there are which can be turned on and off here. The name of the, the block and the layer that is uh, uh, that I selected earlier. Right, now if you go next it'll just uh, ask you um, how you want to w uh, draw the results. Now you can either insert it as a uh, into the actual drawing uh, or output it as an Excel file or both. Now I'm going to just say uh, export and it asks me which directory. I can go to the desktop of uh, created an export directory and I'll just say beginner's plan or even just the WC export uh, as before. Alright, I'll just leave it as is. I'll go next. It'll say finish to complete the extraction and uh, we've just uh, done that. Now if I look at uh, Excel or if I go to the uh, area, uh, there's the Excel uh, document. If I open that, you will pick up that uh, the table that got previewed is exactly the same as we see here. Closing this, and returning to AutoCAD, if I now go and insert another bathroom or toilet block, I'll just copy this one for, for, for in this case to there. I now have three items. If I go and uh, do the want to rerun the the export, I'll do exactly the same, but this time I won't say create a new extraction. I'll say edit the existing one. And uh, I'll go and find that ex uh, that uh, export, and I will just run through all the steps like before, but very quick. And then you'll notice uh, the count is three, and I'll just overwrite that uh, example. Right, returning then to the so it's very quick. You just has, have gone through the steps. If I now open the Excel sheet again, you'll notice that uh, it's been updated. Uh, to uh, the correct uh, amount of uh, toilets that uh, is in the AutoCAD drawing. Right, so just note though that uh, it doesn't, there's no automatic uh, link uh, through this method. Uh, in future we will perhaps look at the data link which has an automatic uh, link. But uh, what we did now, we just simply exported the uh, table to an Excel file 
and uh, showing the, the exact amount of items within our AutoCAD drawing. Alright, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.